introducing the new MoFi 5500-5G XE LTE series of router. This one specifically we're gonna unbox is called the MoFi 5500-5G XE LTE-7411. And just as an FYI, we have the 7411 at the end, and that represents what type of cellular modem that's in the router. It's made from Sierra Wireless, and it's a Category 7 modem. We also have other categories, such as a Category 20, and the 5G option that will be released soon. So this is a quick unboxing video to show the router, what's in the box. So basically, this router comes with the two wide back antennas. These are very high quality cellular antennas designed specifically just for the MoFi. There's a nice high quality 10 feet ethernet cable, which is very handy. What we found in the past is we used to offer a six feet and we found most customers are having a hard time connecting a six feet cable. So we decided to make it a lot easier and supply a 10 feet high quality ethernet cable. Comes with a regular warning. I'll tell you more about the warning in a minute. We have a little brochure on our public IP service in case somebody wants a public IP for their router. Quick start. The SIM card adapter kit. So this SIM card adapter kit is very important. Most of the SIM card today uses a micro or a nano SIM card size, which are the smaller type of SIM cards. But this router uses a larger type, just like our previous router. So we need to ensure that if you're gonna use a micro or a nano SIM card, that you put it in one of these two adapters. So just ensure you do that, because if you don't, you can, you can stick the SIM card in the router and you might have a hard time taking it out. So as you can see in the box, first thing you'll notice is the power supply. It's a very high quality, 3.5 amp, fully certified power supply. It also comes with five Wi-Fi antennas. And these antennas are also specifically designed just for the MoFi. We call it the new 5G Wi-Fi. And what that means, I, it's a bit confusing for some to see 5G Wi-Fi because there's also something called 5G cellular, which is different. The 5G Wi-Fi means you can get the five gigahertz. And these antennas are tuned to optimize both 2.4 gigahertz, which is an older type of Wi-Fi, which this can also do. And it also simultaneously transmit the 5.0 Wi-Fi. And we designed these antennas specifically to optimize, especially on the 5G, because today I think almost everybody will be using the 5G and only for a PlayStation 4 or some very old devices would you want to go 2.4. I just want to give you a quick overview on our quality and what we use. We always use the best quality components in our MoFi device. A lot of customers might not know how do you tell what's a good quality and a bad quality antennas. So here, I'll give you an example. Here's two antennas. We did a performance testing on these and although our specially designed Wi-Fi antenna is smaller than this large one, this Wi-Fi antenna is outperforming this larger antenna. And the reason is we, there's wires that go through these antennas. Same here. But it depends on the configuration and the quality of the cable that's in the antenna. So it's hard to tell from looking on the quality. But you can be assured that the performance, if you were to do a performance test, our MoFi antenna are far superior than many other antennas on the market. Another thing to look at is the actual physical construction of the antennas. So if you look at these antennas, they look very similar. As you can see, the base here might look identical, but our MoFi antenna uses a metal base that's a metal piece right here. And the cheaper antennas are, are not metal. It looks like it's metal, but it's actually plastic. I'll give you a little test here. Just have an X-Acto knife here. So watch, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna just slice this, this base off. 
and you can see it's plastic. It's just peeling right off. Where our antennas, if you try to take it off, the paint will come off and you'll see underneath here, it's a nice metal rugged construction antenna. It might not seem to you like a big deal, but we find the metal antennas are much far lasting longer than the cheaper plastic that can easily break. And also, uh, the antennas are designed so that it can stay up. So we make it so it's not easily tipping over. Where some of the other ones might just go and, and easily just fall, fall over. Okay, and the router is right here. Open up. As you can see, it's much larger than our previous model. Metal, high quality casing. We also have this warning sticker here. Same as this warning as we spoke earlier. And this is very important because the SIM card slot is here. And again, if you have a smaller SIM, you need to use the SIM card adapter. And this is uh, plastic, so it's not going to rip onto the box. Take it off. You don't need it no more. And here you go. So you can see the router. All gigabit ports. There is four Ethernet and one WAN. There's also a console port which for some customers this could be a lifesaver. It has uh, two USB ports, one in the back, one in the side. For most customers will not be using that because most customers are using the router because of the SIM card slot. So this model has just has a slot for two SIM cards but the top one is sealed off so you'll be using the bottom slot. And on the front of the router you'll see the spot to put the four cellular antennas. Sorry, so four Wi-Fi antennas. So these are the four Wi-Fi, both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz will transmit simultaneously. And there's two cellular antennas will go on the side here. Okay, so as you can see, the Wi-Fi antennas and the cellular antennas, they both use the same type of connector, which is the SMA mail connector. Okay, and the only other thing I could mention is a lot of customers were complaining about the LED lights. And in a previous generation, it was very hard to turn it off. So in this model, there's an on-off switch to control the LEDs. Because if some, some customers they install these in their bedroom or some area where they, they get kind of irritated to see all the lights flickering in the nighttime. So if you want to take off the LEDs but leave the router on, you just gotta click on the switch, on and off. So some customers want it on and some will want it off. And that's it, so take care and we'll send some more videos to show more features. Thank you.